Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this painted tip full set for my client and it also has some Swarovski Pixie crystals on them too. I know how I have been gone for a while off YouTube because I've been extremely, extremely busy but I am back now. I have a new camera set up which you guys are going to see very soon. So I will be trying to be consistent as I say in every single video but please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like and also comment below what you guys want to see next. So of course I've already prepped my client's nails and shaped them off camera. If you guys do want to see me doing that as well on camera one time, feel free to comment below like what shape you want me to show you guys how to do or how I prep my nails as well. So I'm just onto the application now. I usually do like a three bead method and then I just start to build up the apex but obviously depending on your preference, how you prefer to work, just apply the acrylic in the best way that is for you. If you want like more detailed tutorials on how I apply my acrylic, the best way, especially for beginners, feel free to DM me on Instagram at cs underscore nails so that you can join my tips and tricks page, which is only a £35 entry fee. This has, I'm gonna, basically me giving you guys very extremely detailed tutorials from literally how I pick up my bead to how I drill and the speed that I drill at and it's literally just me being like a virtual nail mentor just to make things a bit easier for people that are starting out to do nails so yeah I'm just doing my application very simple and very easy I like to make my application very neat in the beginning just because I hate drilling nails so so much like I hate all the dust and because I have extremely oily skin as well it just adds to the oil on my face so I like to make my application as perfect as I can. So guys, I am so, so happy about my new camera setup because it literally gives me the freedom to record every single client without my camera just being in the way or me having to stop and start and reposition and all of that stuff. So I promise you guys are going to get more videos from me, hopefully weekly videos compared to before where I will just take months off YouTube. But YouTube has not been my main concern right now. I've had uni, I've had clients, I'm also having, I'm also running my own nail supply store now as well. So I've been in and out of the post office basically every day. So guys, my life has been extremely hectic recently. Like uni being online is not as easy as it looks. And if you are a uni student listening to this, I feel your pain. I feel your struggle in this moment of time because being in a lecture and writing your notes then and there compared to having to catch up online is not the same at all from being in your bed and listening to the lecture and it's all pre-recorded so you have to set the time to listen to it yourself and then the weeks just begin to go by and go faster and you're like oh it's week seven i haven't even watched week one of my lecture like do you know what i mean so and with me it's like i always say oh i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it tomorrow and then tomorrow will come and i won't do it and i say i'll do it tomorrow and then it's like a lot of things just start to build up on me so i really need to set time for everything and youtube because i do like uploading on youtube i do like editing i do like making voiceovers but having clients as well including this it's a lot because imagine doing like five clients a day and then afterwards you just want to go straight to bed so yeah i do need to learn how to manage my time as well so i missed out the um finger that has a clear tip because i'm gonna just put clear acrylic on that one afterwards 
So after I apply acrylic on this now, you're going to see me prep the clear nails again. And then I'm just going to apply clear acrylic on those after I've applied my nude colour. Also guys, I haven't even um, done nails in Nottingham yet. So I go to Nottingham Trent Uni and I haven't even slept in my accommodation yet, which I've paid for this whole term for. I haven't even slept there once. I've just moved my stuff in. But the reason that I haven't gone there is because firstly, Nottingham has, I think, the highest rates of coronavirus. Like, they announced it one time and I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm going there and putting my London clients at risk, putting everyone at Lon in London at risk. So I'd rather just stay here. And then the second lockdown was announced in December, which we're in right now. And I was just like, what's the point of me going to Nottingham and getting stuck there possibly for Christmas if they didn't announce that there's another lockdown for that Christmas period? So I was like, let me just wait, stay here. Hopefully I'll be able to go back um, after, after the Christmas holiday. So I'm very, very thankful as well that I did all my keloid surgery removal before all this lockdown stuff happened because imagine if I have to go to like appointments and I wouldn't be able to go to them because of obviously coronavirus and all of that stuff so in terms of the keloid removal video that is gonna come when I go back to uni because I want to do it in like a nicer setting and actually talk to you guys in depth about what happened what is going on right now but just to answer a few of your questions like the questions that a lot of people are asking me yes it is completely gone yes it is completely healed no it was not painful at all um they did give me local anesthetic before it was done so i felt no pain at all the only time i felt pain like proper serious like a pain like I had to go to bed because it was just so painful was when um the anesthetic wore off and I just felt every single thing like it was absolutely horrible like it was the worst feeling ever yeah that is the only part I felt pain so that video will come out very soon I just want to do it in a better environment compared to in my living room i do want to do it in my uni room where i have like a better backdrop or whatever yeah so here i am just applying clear guys to those nails i'm gonna put the pixies on my client want me to put them on a clear nail either way if you put them on a nude nail or clear nail they both look as good So in terms of my nail supply store, I've always wanted to sell like nail products and stuff, but I just never had the time to do so or the idea would always just slip my mind because I'd be so busy doing nails instead. So now that we've had lockdown and all this coronavirus stuff, I like finally put my mind to it, put my ideas on paper and I finally like started it and it is going extremely extremely well like recently i just hit 1k followers on my nail supply store and I, and i also hit 6k followers on my main nail page On my nails, on my nails first of I already released my milk acrylic powder, which is doing extremely well. It always sells out. Everyone loves the consistency, the formula, and all that stuff. So for Christmas, I'm also going to be releasing a winter acrylic collection. It just has like like winter themed glitter acrylic powders. So when that is also released, I'm going to be doing a swatching video on my YouTube channel. Of just those different powders so you guys can see obviously before you purchase so yeah all the nail supplies that I use are mainly on my nail supply store for example the nail tips I use um, the um, nail decor I used everything is literally on there so it's literally the go-to store for all nail techs who want to do those trendy designs those Instagram designs that you see 
so do give that a follow as well the um link will be in my bio below so give that a follow so that you don't miss out on the drop of the winter acrylic collection So that is my application done, guys. As you can see, I like my application to be super, super neat. So I don't have to do too much work drilling. And now I'm just going to use my um, super fine drill bit to drill the nails. And I'm also going to use my taper drill bit to seal the huge core area. So yeah, in terms of a life update, that's it really. If you have any more questions for me about what's been going on recently, you can um, comment below and I will answer those in the next video. Also, my December appointments are out, guys. So please book an appointment for December if you want to get your nails done by me. I'm also doing an offer, which is a Christmas freestyle for £45. The normal freestyle set is £60. So yeah, so come with your Christmas themes, your Christmas idea, and let's create something fun. And I will definitely record that set. So now I'm just using my taper drill bit just to get in as close as I can to the cuticle area and seal that cuticle area. Before, I used to use the drill bit that I used previously with this one, so the barrel drill bit. But I just found that recently this one allows me to get super close to that cuticle area and it allows me to have like a more apex shape compared to before. And I have noticed a bigger difference in like in terms of lifting and in terms of also how long my client's nails last when using this one compared to using the one that I used to use. Now I'm just buffing the nails with my purple and black buffer. Um, I find this is the most coarse one and it really like takes away those scratches on the nails that may have been caused by the drill. Then after this I'm just going to use my 80 over 80 grit nail file just to reshape those nails into the shape they were before. guys look at all of that dust like i don't know what to use to like reduce the amount of dust which comes i know there's dust collectors but obviously my table doesn't have that hole in it to collect the dust so if you guys have any other ways to like reduce the amount of dust which comes when i'm um, doing nails please let me know below as well because i actually hate it so much it makes me sneeze i don't know if i have allergies to it or something it makes me sneeze it makes my face like really hot and sweaty so if you do have any ways apart from a dust collector or maybe they could be like table dust collectors i don't know that you could just sit on the table please let me know because obviously i do do nails from home so i don't have one of them um nail desks compared to everyone else So now it's time to apply the Swarovski Pixies and I'm just using my hard gel to apply a very thin layer and this is what's going to keep my Swarovski Pixies secure on this nail guys. They are not going to budge and they're not going to move. So just put a layer of hard gel onto your nail and then all I'm going to do after that is I'm just going to sprinkle my Swarovski Pixies on top.
to use my um my brush to just pat those crystals into the nail and I just clean up the sides to maintain the shape as well and if I need to add any more like there's any gaps I just add some more onto it afterwards and then she's gonna put her hand into the UV lamp to cure So now guys, I'm just using some white paint to create a very thin line at the top of the nails and I'm just using the brush that comes with the gel paint. I'm not using any special kind of brush. Um, if you feel like your hand is going to shake or you're not as steady as I am, you can purchase a very thin brush from like Amazon or eBay and that will help you get your lines perfect. So after I've done this, I'm now going to apply some gel top coat onto her nails and then she's going to put her hand back into the UV lamp. So that is the end of the video guys. Of course, put cream and kids core oil on your client's nails before you take pictures. If you want to see more pictures and videos of these nails, make sure to check out my Instagram page at CS underscore nails. If you want to purchase nail supplies, check out also my um, nail supply store at Acrylics UK as well. 
all my social media links will be in the description box below and make sure to comment below what you want me to record next thank you guys bye